Hey, what's going on YouTube? What's up? It's been a while. I know. No excuses here. It's just been a while. All right. So Sunday morning, need a haircut. But anyways, we're back with another video. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of work in terms of prepping the STI for winter. So, you know, obviously saw my last video, the car's fairly slammed. I don't want to be the local snowplow. So there's some uh, activities that need to be performed prior to engaging in winter driving. So I'll walk you guys through that. Here's how the car sits. You guys already know. Um, fairly low to the ground. To be honest, next season I'll probably go a bit lower in the front, but at this point in the game, end of the season, I just didn't bother, right? So really what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna raise the car up, quickly adjust the coils up a little bit, adjust the camber so it sits neutral. We're gonna be putting on just the stock, stock wheels, some new winter rubber. So we're gonna make sure we get rid of all the camber here, right, so you can see, um, especially on the rears, right? And then what I also picked up from a local shop, hit these guys up, Righteous Garage. These are coilover, I guess, sleeves, covers. So first time running these, usually I actually, um, I usually just take off the coils completely and put the stock suspension on, but it's way too much work, way too much work. And honestly, I barely have time. So I'm gonna try these out. I'm still gonna put some grease on the, uh, the threads just to make sure they don't seize up. I'm gonna get the car under sprayed next week. So I'm hoping these guys serve its purpose, but we get a full review of how these work. So we'll see. This will be also a review of these things. So anyways, next steps, I'm gonna jack up the car. To jack up this baby, I actually need to, I need to um, use the stock kind of crank jack to get it up a little bit and then I'll put a normal jack underneath. Okay. All right, gang, so the first wheel is off. You can see I just used the OEM jack, but look at the tire. That's why it's important to get an alignment. Yeah, you can see a little bit of additional wear on this side versus the other, but really honestly, considering that this is my daily, yeah, I don't drive like crazy, but treads even, right? For the most part. So more reason to say it's not camber that fucks up your tires, it's your toe. Okay, so as long as you get your toe fixed, your camber is gonna be good, so. Um, I can show my alignment specs later, but that's really, well, fuck it. Let's just get to it right now. Hold on a sec. Okay, here it is. Here's STI. This is last year, actually. And here's this year, 2021. So what I want you guys to focus on is there's the toe before. That's the rear, so here's the toe, right? And uh, here's after, look at that. The rear and the front and before it was red. That's gonna kill your tread, look at the camber. Front camber, negative two, negative two, stayed the same, right? Look at the rear, seven and change, more or less stayed the same, so sorry. So. So next steps, you guys seen enough videos of this, so I'm not gonna go through it. I'm gonna loosen up that and that bolt, okay? Push them out. This will come down and it'll give me free roam to turn this bottom color and then raise the car, okay? So I'm gonna make the length, the distance between here and here larger, okay? After that's done, I'm gonna grease up this. I'm gonna put on that coilover cover. As well, I'm gonna fix the camber adjustment up here. So once that bottom part's off, loosen this, and then you shift this over. So I'll show you guys in a sec. All right guys, so like I said, take these off. It's a couple 12 millimeter bolts holding up some brake lines. Take those off and pull this out. And then what I did is you loosen up the top here with just a regular Allen screw. 
Allen key, sorry, please. And then what you'll see is you adjust your camera. See? So you move it here. It's fully like positive. Move it there. Negative. Right? Because if you think about it, if I pull this way, negative camber, right? Top of the tire tucks in. Pull this way, it's positive camber. So I'm gonna play around with this a little bit. I'm guessing I'm gonna probably move it probably in the middle somewhere. But uh, once I put the wheel on, I'll quickly take a look and it should be all right. So these Allen screws come out and on the BC set, there's three holes here. So it was here and this was here, but I'm actually putting one in here, one in here. Okay. And then what I'm doing is for the camera, I'm lining up that little circle right there to that. So I'll do that and tighten it down, take this one off and then move it there, tighten it down. You can also play with the dampening right now. It's set to max hard. Guessing I'm going to go a bit softer. So I keep track of the clicks, but that's easy adjustments at the end. All right, cool. So once you get the camber adjust at the top, you're going to take one of your spanner wrenches and loosen up this collar here, which I already did. And then really this will start turning and you're, you're going to keep turning it. So it goes down to create more distance and then you lower the collar. So you're creating more space, which ultimately raises your car. Um, what I'd suggest too is, you know, as you're finishing doing that, take a toothbrush, scrub out the debris in here before you put on some anti seize or some grease. And then I'm gonna put on the coilover cover. So up here, it's pretty well protected. It's really these coils that you're really concerned about, right? That they rust out, especially during Canadian winters. So, okay. So something I found very interesting was that as I lowered this, this, I guess whatever, knuckle or axle piece wasn't getting any lower. So what I mean was you can see sitting at a certain height if i want to line it up with this i'll have to raise this which will effectively lower my car but i want to raise my car so i was guessing and we'll see that it has to do with something with the pressure on on this side so i actually ended up raising the car on this side i'm going to go through the same process loosen these up take off the brake lines get this piece off so it's free to move and maybe it will drop the whole the other side it'll make the other side go lower we'll see i don't know i think so also just to show these these are still on they're loosened but kind of moving up to the camber here you can see once you loosen these these allen keys or allen screws this is pretty free-ish to move for the most part anyways yeah so can adjust the camber without really loosening up the and like taking the bottom off in the future if you're playing with your adjustments it doesn't have to be take off the whole suspension so just wanted to show you guys that so anyways let me go proceed and take this side off and see if it makes a difference on the other side to to help uh, raise the car so there you go mystery solved once i got this bolt out the whole the whole axle drop, right? So now I can easily continue to lower this, which is, sorry, again, one hand here, but you get the idea. So continue to undo it and keep loosening it up. And really the distance from here to here is how much I'm raising it. So I'm lowering this, but I'm raising the car. It's kind of counterintuitive. So, you know, judging for why, where I was sitting, I'd probably want to raise it at least an inch probably gonna stay around here and then yeah you just start moving this down lock it in there and then do the opposite to get the car back line this up get a jack to lift this up tighten it up and you're ready to rock i've done enough suspension videos so i'm not going to walk you guys through that process but i will show you guys um a little bit of the cleaning process real quick so hold on a sec all right guys so once you get to the desired height that you want, so just get one of these tools and measure. 
What I forgot to show you guys is make sure you measure how much the car was sitting at prior so that if you're gonna ride the same height next year, oops, then you do that, right? So here we go, there we go. Use that, it's gonna be something. And then jot that measurement down, okay? Then you just take a simple toothbrush, just brush it off. These coils are pretty friggin' mint. That's why I've always been hesitant to run them in the winter because I want to keep them this way, but at the same time. Okay, so for the most part, it's clean enough, get the dust and debris off. Okay, then what I'm gonna do next is gonna I'm gonna take some of this gel here. Okay. This lubricating gel. I've used this in many of my videos. And it's worked wonders. Make sure you have a glove on, it's a bit easier. You don't wanna get this sticky stuff all over your fingers. It's a bit of a pain. Just, just rub it in on the threads. Don't be afraid to use more. It's not gonna do any damage. If anything, it's gonna protect it better. So. back okay go looks all right all right comfortable with it just make sure you're good with it get areas you may have not be able to reach again just get a nice even coat on there okay you know what? Okay, let's get some more. All right. Okay. So once you get enough coating where you're comfortable, this is what's gonna go on the coilover, right? So interesting enough, let's get the brake line out of the way first. I'm actually curious how these fit. There you go. It's going into hibernation. Boom. So fronts are done. A little bit different, eh? It's good. Lots of clearance for winter, so no issues there. Go to the driver's side. Again, no issues, so. From a can. It's funny how shitty the offset is on stock wheels, but not too bad. All right, let's do the rear. All right, guys, so I just took the rear tire off. You can see, again, tread's in good shape. Rear's similar concept, but I think it might take a little bit longer. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to take this off, which will disconnect this assembly to the lower control arm. And I'll obviously have to loosen that, probably take off that. Um, and because I'm messing with the camera on the, on the lower control arm, um, if you saw my older video, that piece over there where I'm pointing to, that will dial the lower control arm camera. So I'm gonna alt essentially make the lower control arm shorter the longer you make it pushes the tire so it cambers in so making it shorter will fix the camber there and again same thing with the threads loosen the bottom make it lower you get the measurements and then that's it should be ready to rock all right guys so i actually have to take off all the screws 
are all the bolts in the lower control arm. So just to show you guys how to raise and lower this, same thing, you loosen up this little piece here and then again, very easy, just turn it to make it longer, which will raise the car, okay? And then for the lower control arm, so once you disconnect it, still left it attached um, over there, but you're just gonna have to turn it. And uh, once it turns, you're gonna make it shorter. So pretty straightforward here. If you don't have LCAs and you don't have this problem, but because I'm running aftermarket to get the camber I need, I need to also adjust this. Otherwise I'll be running negative seven camber on stock winter tires, which isn't ideal. All right. So I'll play with the adjustments, get it to where I like. I'm also using this handy tool here to help determine how much camber I need. So just put it on there, I'll tell you. And uh, the goal is to get it around the zero mark, right? So. All right guys, so I'm just finishing up the other side here. Same drill as the front. Use a toothbrush, get all the dirt and grime off, and then add some grease to it. And then we'll put on the coilover cover. I, uh, I reduced the length of the LCA about an inch and change. So hopefully that'll be enough. I'm not too concerned really, but the main thing was the ride height and you know not have so much camber. So worst case, we get it fixed at the alignment. So I'm just wrapping up the rear. So I put the tire on. Ride height looks fine, but this is what I mean by the toe, right? Look at that. Toe is, this is toe. The, the way every tire works, left to right. So think about this, I'm right now, I'm toe out. So um, anyways, I got adjustable toe arms underneath. So quickly show you guys. Uh, that orange bar. So you just twist it, loosen up, there's a couple of bolts on the side. I have a few videos up and that will adjust this toe so that the tire sits more, sorry, sits more obviously flush, right? All right guys, car is lowered, everything's adjusted. Height's good, camber's good toe will be fixed for the alignment so very happy ready for some winter driving thanks for watching the video guys stay tuned for more content don't forget to like and subscribe peace